So first we're gonna talk about this concept. It's called compressing velocities. While I compose, you'll understand in a second why this is important. Let's get running. So, just a piano. Now, let's see what we've got. Just gonna record the expression here. We've got the notes. We've got the velocity of each note, and this is just the pedal. Um, let's take a look. This could sound way better. I did a decent job. It's not perfect. There are mistakes. The notes are right, but the performance could be a little bit better. That's what a great musician will do. It'll the first time it'll it'll be great. Uh, but here there are a few things that we can improve. The first thing that we could do is we could select everything and then compress velocities. I'm gonna explain this real quick. There are two ways of compressing velocities. Cubase is gonna give you this tool where it's scaled vertically, and then you're gonna just bring them down. It's like you're compressing those velocities, and then you can bring them up now, not here, but here, and then everything is gonna be more, see? Like a little bit more compressed instead of what we had earlier, which is this. There are lots of big jumps between the high velocity notes, meaning the louder notes and the softer notes. And uh, when we compress velocities, we end having this. Everything's a little bit more the same. Now, don't overdo it. Otherwise, it's going to sound like a, you know, computer. But sometimes it's nice to do this instead of like if you had to fix it and then going note by note and bringing down this note. This one is too soft, bringing it up. This is the right way of doing it, but sometimes it takes too much time. So instead, you know, just selecting everything and compressing them a little bit like this and then bringing them up and then you've got everything compressed, it's gonna sound a little bit better. I know what you're thinking. The melody should sound a little bit louder. We'll get there in a second. Let me just share with you the other way of doing it. Um, most of the sequencers, you will be able to scale velocities to compress, but if uh, you use a sequencer where you can't, the other option is selecting everything, bringing them up like this till the highest velocity notes start hitting the ceiling and then start compressing. See what's happening? This is what's happening. And then the same thing down then, and that's it. And then when you bring it up, everything's a little bit more compressed. Similar thing, it's not a scaling, but it's just more like what a limiter would do, but both in the ceiling and in the floor. So this is the other way of doing it. So it's not perfect, but if we compare it with the first thing that we had, first note, for example, was too soft, and then the second one was too loud in the melody. There are some notes in the harmony that are too loud, so we need control. This is compressing velocities, generic, what we've done, and then specific. Generic meaning what every sequencer could do, and then specific with the scale velocities that Cubase allows us to do. And then what we've done is compressing velocities for the entire region, for the entire group of notes that we've recorded here. But there's another way, which is by layers. For example, in this piano, there are two layers. There's the melody. Dum, do, di, do, di, dum. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna compress these velocities a little bit. I'm gonna scale them like this and then bring them up with a healthy level. And then we're gonna select the harmony here. That's why sometimes it's nice to record the melody and the harmony separately uh, or in separate MIDI regions, but in this case, it's the same MIDI region. So I'm gonna do the same thing now. I'm gonna compress them like this, but I'm just gonna leave them a little bit softer. And now this should work better. The harmony may still be a little bit too soft, but let's see. This one is a little, still, still a little too loud. And now we can bring the melody a little bit. Do, 
Director, um, this should almost be part of the harmony. That's it. Maybe a little bit too, still too loud. Gonna bring them down. And this now, this is not volume. This is just how soft or loud you've got. It's not volume, it's the performance. Right? It's the way you would interpret this. <laughs> 